Hello everyone and welcome. In this session we are going to talk about leadership and integrity. And to help me dive deep into this uh, concept is Dr. Mary Mogo. Karibu sana. Thank you, Dan. Just a short intro uh, introduction. You can let our viewers know who you are and what you do before we get into the topic of the day. Thank you. My name is Dr. Mary Mugo, right. a consultant in matters strategy and leadership. Right. And I'm also a senior lecturer at Mount Media University of Kenya, and I also do power talks for companies and for schools. That's well, me. Yeah, good, good, good. So the reason why we're here today, we want to discuss more about leadership and integrity. Mm -hmm. And I just want to start by, can you basically describe for us what is leadership? Thank you, Dan. You know, people think that uh, leadership is a position that you hold. Mm -hmm. People think that uh, leadership is about a title. Because I'm a dean of faculty, I'm a leader. Mm -hmm. Or I'm a politician, I'm a leader. Leadership is not a position. Leadership is not a title. Leadership is not a character. Leadership is not a trade. In fact, some people think yeah. for leaders are people who look handsome, who help others. That is not leadership. So what is leadership? Leadership is influence. Nothing less, nothing more. When you say that tells you you can be a leader but you don't hold any position. Okay. That tells you you can be a leader but you don't have any title. As long as you can influence people and more so when you influence people through inspiration and motivate them to achieve a goal, then you are a leader. That is what leadership is all about. Great. I think there's a book by Robin Sharma called The Leader Without a Title. Mm -hmm. Something of that sort. Mm -hmm. And I think you have brought it quite well. Now let's go to the second bit of it. What about integrity? Or we can start also, what is not integrity? Mm -hmm. Before you define to us what integrity is. Now, that's another word that people use a lot okay. and um, with the wrong meaning. I've heard people say that integrity is when you do the same thing when people are not watching and when they are watching. That is not integrity. I've heard, I've heard other people saying that integrity is being honest. That is not integrity. Integrity is honoring your word. Nothing less, nothing more. And what is honoring your word? Let me just, because sometimes people don't understand what it is to honor your word. When you talk about honoring your word, you're saying that you keep your word. And if you don't keep your word, you let the person know that you'll not be keeping your word. Right. And when you will be keeping your word. For you to understand, let me give you an example. Because most of you have no integrity even in your homes. When you tell your child you will take them for swimming and come Sunday then you decide, hey, you tell them, mm, no, I think let's not go today because tomorrow I'll be going to work. That is lack of integrity. However, if you told the child that I'll not be able to take you to swimming today, I'll take you tomorrow or I'll never take you, then you, you have honored your word. Rather than say you will do something and you end up not doing it yeah and by the way your word constitutes many things allow me to tell people what your word is just yes. uh, just briefly quick, quick your okay. word is what you say your word is what you stand for mm -hmm. your word is the, are the legal and the moral issues your word is what is expected of you there are those things that people expect you to do but they don't tell you it is also your word in other words even if you have not written something down somewhere and you have said it, if you don't do it, you have no integrity. The fact that you have a child, it is expected of you to take this child to school. So Correct. That's your word. Yes. You need to do that. It is expected that you should pay fees. Yes. If you don't pay fees for your child, that is lack of integrity. You are not honoring your word. So integrity is honoring your word. And by the way, I train in that. So. Uh, to now bring these two together, mm -hmm. why or how is a leadership and integrity inter uh, combined or how do they relate to each other? Is it that someone who is, uh, has integrity automatically should be a leader or someone who is a leader should be someone with integrity? Now, a leader must have that characteristic among other many. One of the key characteristics of an effective leader, in fact a leader who is excellent must have integrity. A leader must keep their word. A leader must honor the, their word. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you are CEO and you tell staff I'll be paying you end of the month and you never pay them, you don't tell them you're not paying them, then uh, what kind of a leader are you? And by the way, if you are a leader without integrity, that is where corruption comes in. 
So without integrity, there is no leadership. It is just a fake leadership, in my view. Because without, if you can't, when, when you when you come and you campaign, allow yeah. me, I'm not a politician, but it is important because most of you think politicians are leaders. Yeah. If you go and campaign and tell people that I'll do for you a road, and you very well know this road is not even under your mandate, you are not even, you should never think of even being a leader. Because leadership and integrity go together. Without integrity, leadership does not exist. So it's possible to have a position and not be a leader Yes. to the core. Yes. Just like mainly politicians. They have the position, but not they don't have the leadership to back it up. In fact, there are many people who are leaders, but they never held any position. Martin Luther King. Right. He influenced people through inspiration. And the people came out and did... There are few other, there are few people who are leaders and uh, they hold positions. But actually, if you want to know your leader, look at when you are young, mm -hmm. and you are playing that uh, game where children play games. If you ever, if ever children told you you need to be the father or the mother, you are a leader. And if you are always the child, uh, there might be a yeah, problem. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there may not be problem because by the leaders can be made. Okay. They are not necessarily born. I think that was my uh, almost the question I was about. Do we have leaders? Are leaders born or do we make leaders? Or are they made? You know, when you talk about, there are many theories to this. Eh? Yeah. Uh, some people say that uh, the old times, people used to say that uh, the, the old theories say that leaders are born. Mm -hmm. So leaders have certain traits, like there are people who are handsome, there are people who have. Um, who are above uh, average, I mean, who have a uh, height, a certain height. They behave in a certain way. Those are now the behavioral theories. It is if a leader has all those, but has not been made, they just remain that. They remain. So leaders can be born and can also be made. In fact, somebody said that the best leaders are those that are made. Made meaning that you've been taken through things like integrity, because you practice it every day. You've been taken through things like honesty, consistency. So leaders are neither born nor made. They can, you can be a leader because you're born that way, or you can be a leader because you're made. But for me, this is my own opinion. Yeah. A leader who is born and made is one of the best leaders. Because you speak and people listen. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. I think she is a very resourceful lady. And she has the books that we talked about. I'm sure inside this book, a lot of resource are, uh, is inside here. So take time to be able to order the book. How do they get the book? You can get my books um, uh, by calling the number 0733 297 287. Yeah. Or you can call 0776 045 087. Or you can email us at uh, info at merimugo.com. Or you can just leave a a message on my YouTube channel, Dr. Mary Mugo will call you and you will deliver the book where you are in this country. But if you are watching us from outside the country, you can order the book from Amazon or the, my, the, my two books are in Amazon and we'll be glad. They will help you because they are practical books. There you have it. Make sure you get one of these books. So in the description below, we'll put all those links, we'll put the email, the phone number so that you can be able to get in touch with her and get one or both of the books so thank you very much i'll just ask you please like the video leave a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel as you have heard also she has a youtube channel the name is dr mary mugo yeah check dr mary mugo subscribe to her channel subscribe to this channel press the bell button so that you can get to know each and every time we release a new video otherwise thank you very much until next time we are out god bless you thank you very much thank you